I, like the speakers before me, am, am so humbled to be a part of this respectful and reverent moment today with so many of, of the citizens here and, and those in leadership. What an amazing uh, time and place to be today in, in honoring our God and, uh, and taking this, this moment. Uh, I would like to just continue with this moment of respect and share with you a little bit about what we're doing to honor and remember. Uh, Dame Mary mentioned about my son Tony, who lost his life in 2005 in, in December in Iraq. And since that time, uh, as Martha knows and, and some of the other mothers here, uh, you go through a very long period of grief. There's, there's never any forgetting, ever. And uh, Memorial Day of 2008, last year, uh, I was privileged to unveil, with the help of Congresswoman Thelma Drake, the Honor and Remember flag. That flag is in, to be an official symbol recognizing all those who died in military service to our country from the beginning of our country's history. There's never been a symbol that specifically recognizes that sacrifice. And just two weeks ago, thank you to the mayor and to the city council here, Virginia Beach officially adopted that flag, and we're grateful for that. Rather, than, I can go on like Judge West probably for hours, but I need to move this along. Uh, correct, Mayor? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show you the Honor and Remember flag and explain its symbolism. I'm not good with the microphone, but I know that you won't be able to hear. The Honor and Remember flag is born of symbolism both from military and universal icons. The red and the white field stand for the blood sacrifice and the purity of that sacrifice because our men and women, young, educated, seemingly invincible, went over there hoping to come home. That's the purity of what they gave for us. The blue star goes back to World War I when families hung a blue star banner on their windows or doors signifying that they had a family member in combat. The gold star overlaying that blue star signifies that that life was lost, that they weren't coming home. The folded flag underneath those stars, everyone universally recognizes as a life lost, an individual life lost for our country. And the flame above it is a reminder of an eternal flame that we will always remember, that we will never forget. Thank you. But there's more. The Honor and Remember flag is more than just a national symbol. And as a mission of the organization, it is to remember individually by name every sacrifice ever born for this country military service and that is why I was invited today because in Jesus's words in the book of John there is no greater love that a man has than to lay his life down for his friends how much greater is that love for all those who willingly lay down their life for those they don't even know today we bring tribute to such a man who with unselfish love and dedicated patriotism gave all he could for his family, for his friends, and for ultimately every man and woman in this room. And today, 37 years later, we remember him individually by name and we honor his mother, Martha Ann. I 
this time, I would like to have Martha and Sabo come forward, please. This honor and remember flag is presented with eternal gratitude and respect in memory of Captain John W. Consalvo, Jr. With this flag, we honor this patriot's unwavering dedication and remember their selfless sacrifice. By displaying this symbol collectively as a nation, we humbly recognize the enormity of your loss and respectfully say, Thank you. of a flag, I just need to explain one thing. You see that this flag is folded in a tri-folded configuration. Mm -hmm. This is meant to mirror the American flag that families are handed mm -hmm. that is never meant to be unfolded. That flag is given in respect to stay folded, to be encased mm -hmm. in the memory of that loss. This flag mirrors that American flag, but is meant to be unfolded and proudly displayed as we say nationally thank you in celebration of that life given for our freedoms. So Martha Ann, it's my privilege as founder of the Honorable Member Organization and with the help of the Fleet Reserve Association, to present you with this honor and remember flag personally in remembrance of your son, John.